All right, so today I wanted to show you guys how to switch your pinion gear on your motor. We're gonna start by removing this bolt right back here that holds on the cover for your pinion gears. And then after that's off, it just lifts right out. You can see we now have our gears exposed, our spur gear and our pinion. The next step is to loosen this bolt here that holds the motor in place. All right, and then from there, you kind of slide it backwards and you can grab this piece and you can kind of just pull it out of place. There is a bolt right down here that you might have to loosen just a hair. That one takes the largest size of wrench that comes with it. So now that it's out, you can see we have our pinion gear and right here is the screw that we need to go ahead and loosen. Now, if this is your first time removing the gear from your car, it's probably held in place with Loctite. It's gonna be kind of hard to get out. And if you do encounter that, what you're going to do is use a lighter and you're just gonna go ahead and hold it and put your lighter right underneath the gear where that little screw is. You might have to do that for just a little bit to heat that up so that it loosens the, the Loctite. If it's brand new, you're gonna need a pretty good amount of force. Um, just be careful not to strip that little bolt. We have our pinion gear here. We're gonna swap it out. I'm just going to use the same screw out of it because it's a brand new one. Now when you're putting this in, I recommend putting in the screw first and that'll hold it in place while you're tightening it down. All right, so you should be able to see that there's a flat side on the shaft that goes into the motor. We're going to go ahead and line up the screw with that flat side. And then I go ahead and tighten it down until it touches that, but I'm still able to slide it. And then you can slide it until it meets the edge that stops it. And that pretty much lines it up perfectly with the spur gear, which is nice. And then we're going to tighten it down. And you want to tighten it pretty good. Um, if you do find a gear that you really like and you want to stick with it, I recommend putting just a little tiny, tiny bit of Loctite in there um, just to hold it in place. Now, when we put this back, you can see that there's a notch right here. We're going to line that up with the little screw that's down inside of there. It kind of slides onto the screw. There we go, we got that in place and now it's rotating around that. And then we just have to reinsert this screw here. And then we want to leave it just a little bit loose so that we can adjust this quite easily. And when I adjust these after putting in a new one, I'll push it all the way in and roll it to make sure it grabs onto the spur gear. And then you're gonna slide it out just a hair. I'm talking like the smallest amount that you can possibly slide it, just like that. Like you probably didn't even see it move on the camera, but you can feel it just slide just a little bit. And when you do that, I find it, you know, it sets the gears to the right spacing and everything will turn very smoothly. Nothing grabs and that's what we want. So we're pretty much done now. All we gotta do is put on our cover And there we go, all done. We'll put our dust cover back. And boom, we're ready for the next run. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure you hit that follow and like button if you haven't yet.